Good morning, pets, bitches, and losers. So it's been a bit, huh? Um, I'm going to touch on this super quick. Just because... Uh, hold on one second. I got to yell at my dog. Sasha, inside! It's freaking raining and she's like, well, I just stand outside and then I'll go inside and just fuck up the whole house. Oh. Anywho, um, some of you, be, uh, I don't want to cry. So, uh, some of you may know from my last couple videos that I lost my, um, my little love of my life, my tiny three legged, three pound pixie, poo poo, my little chihuahua. And, um, it's probably one of the darkest fucking times and, um, I just want to thank everybody who have given me kind words and uh, those of you that also attributed towards her care and um, yeah. So that's all I'm going to say on that right now because I don't want to get all fucking emotional. It's been a week today that I said goodbye to her so I don't want to get all emotional about it. It's um, I'm finally starting to be able to talk about it without breaking down like a crazy person. Um, but anywho, thank you everybody. I really do appreciate everything. But um, let's get back to the fucking BDSM community, bitches. Uh, boy, what the fuck is he carrying? Oh my God, I thought he was carrying a gun. Um, so yeah, let's talk. Um, I am going to say this right now. I, I, I'm angry, um, about everything that's happened the past week, and I f find it very, very important not to dom when you're angry because you misplace that anger to others that don't deserve that anger. Uh, but also in saying that, I've had some fucking stupid ass motherfuckers come into my DMs, leave comments, just, yeah. So I didn't respond to anything in the moment I got shit, except for I did respond to a comment that I'm going to be talking about this. That's the title of the video. Hence the title of the video, I mean. Um, because I just didn't want to misplace anger. Like, if I'm doming you, I'm doming you, you know? I'm not fucking taking out my shit on you. So, that also is a big difference between somebody who knows what the fuck they're doing and somebody who's just... They don't. Alright, so I had a comment. Uh, I don't know what his name is who knows if hi if you're watching um saying I, I i assume it's off of one of my videos where i talk about um you pay for you pay femdoms and the guy's like no uh you don't pay you don't pay femdoms i've been in I, i'm paraphrasing i can't do word for word uh, he basically said that he's been in a couple of relationships uh, with femdoms and they never, and I don't know the, I don't know the level of the relationship. Was it sexual? What, like, what was it? So I don't know. But he said that he has been with a couple femdoms and they never asked for money or anything like that payment. And I'm like, okay, well, then you're a fucking lifestyle sub. And he basically was also saying, I'm getting ahead of myself. He also was saying that that's why femdom is different from findom. Okay, A, I'm going to fucking say this right now. You don't know shit about the BDSM community. I'm sorry, this may sound harsh, but do your fucking research. Google Femdom. What does femdom mean? Female dominatrix or female, you know, dominant personality. A dom is a male 
dominant personality. So femdom just basically means you are a dominant female that practices in BDSM. There are different types of femdoms. So if femdoms are not, they don't get paid, then what the fuck are these dominatrixes doing that session? They're just giving it away for fucking free. You know, ones that work in dungeons or have dungeons or they're a femdom. They're a dominatrix, but they're a femdom. Same shit. There are different levels. There are professional ones. There are lifestyle ones. And now, sir, go look up what financial dominatrix is. And if somebody is just strictly a pure financial dominatrix, that means that they're really not fulfilling other types of kinks. Financial domination is part of the BDSM community and femdoms can also practice it. So just because you are receiving money for a service in BDSM does not qualify you as a financial dominatrix. So yeah, femdoms do get paid. Um, I have no fucking desire to have a lifestyle sub. And this is the thing that, you know, this guy, maybe he'll answer. But what kind of, what, what were they doing to you? What were you doing in return? Did they just session with you? Did you have a sexual relationship? Did, or are you just telling me like, oh, because they're so pure, they just wanted, you know, to, you know, whips, chains, whatever. I mean, like, I have definitely sessioned on people who did not pay me when you're at a play party or something like that. Okay, yeah. So, were you at a play party? Were they, were you, what were you doing for them? Were you, like, were you cleaning their house? Were you running errands? Were you serving them? Like, trust me, it is an exchange of something. If you're just telling me that they used to just be like, hey, come on over and I'll, you know, let's get off and, uh, you know, whackity whack. I'm not saying that shit doesn't happen. I'm not saying there aren't people out there that have never accepted money for their services. But, um, yeah, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Femdom just means female dominant, you know, and, uh, there are extremely different levels of dominatrixes. So there you have it. So that shit just, you made yourself look fucking stupid by saying that. And you make me kind of realize that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about being in the community. I know plenty of people that are in BDSM relationships, like their boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, or, you know, and yeah, they don't pay each other, but they're in a fucking relationship. They're in like a sexual relationship or whatever. That's fine. But don't fucking be sitting here. If somebody's coming into my goddamn DMs and they're wanting me to fulfill a kink, you're basically saying if I take money for, for it, I'm a financial dominatrix. Well, if they want me to fulfill a fucking kink, like humiliation or whatever, that's not financial domination. Financial domination is you're just taking their fucking money and they're like getting off on that. So part of, yeah, being a femdom is... You do, I consider myself more of a femdom than anything else. Financial domination is part of what I do. So, yeah, you just, by what I got from the comment, it's just like, well, you, yeah, you should just let guys come into your DMs and fucking like, you know, demand shit and, <laughs> and you should just do it if you're a true, uh, you know, femdom or whatever. Okay. All right, bitch. All right. Pay for your porn because that's what it is. 
okay? So anyways, that fucking irritated the shit out of me. Badly. Badly, badly. And I'm trying not to take it out. But yeah, if you're going to try to school me, then you better come with uh, a lot of fucking textbook knowledge, bitch, because that was some of the most ignorant bullshit I've read. So, there. And if you don't like it, that's okay. Move on. And, um, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. This whole fucking thing where a lot of subs just think that, you know, we should just do shit for free or for super cheap. I don't fucking... I've said this so many times. This is not my fucking source of income. This is not my fucking job. This is like, so if I'm going to do this shit, I'm going to get paid for it very well. I'm sorry. If you don't want to, then move on. I'm not hurt by that. Go find a dom that you can afford. You know, I don't care. That is the beautiful thing when the, you do not have to use this shit as your fucking main source of income. You cannot give two fucks a lot. And I don't give two fucks a ton. So uh, there you have that shit. Um, God, it's fucking nasty out. So yeah, I just am like, uh. um, and I find it funny. Like if you're going to request something and I quote you a price and you're going to turn around and be like, well, fuck, that's too expensive. Uh, Okay. Well, just move the fuck on then. Don't sit there and fucking argue with me about it. Just move on, for God's sakes. Like, I don't really give two shits if you think it's too expensive. That's the cost. If you want to also then sit there and try to say to me, I'm not worth it. Okay. Then in your eyes, I'm not fucking worth it. But guess what, bitch? You're the one who approached me. If you're like, well, you ain't worth that. Well, that's your motherfucking opinion. But guess what? That's what I fucking charge. And nobody's getting it cheaper. So. Ugh. I find it so funny how, like, a lot of subs just think, you know, we should just, you know, give this shit away. Just be like, oh, fuck off, you know, here you go, just give it away for free. Or just, like, be super cheap about it. I mean, it's just your fucking body. So, whatever. And sadly, that's why a lot of us get so irritated at people who, like, fucking undercut prices. You know? Because then guys are used to that shit. But then guys need to stick with girls that are fucking that level of, you know, pricing. You know, I'm not shaming the girls, but then you want to come into somebody else's fucking world and be like, well, so-and-so only charged me X, Y, and Z. Well, then go back to so-and-so. You know? I will tell you, there are very, very, very few custom shit out there to that I give to people. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. So, you're lucky. You're fucking motherfucking lucky. If, uh, yeah. If you have shit. I mean, you've paid for it. And if you're stupid enough to fucking leak it out and so on and so forth, well, you're an idiot. But, anywho, um... Yeah, so <laughs> that has been going on. That has been going on. Um, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm still just kind of like, ugh, God smacked. So I was going to go to Daytona for bike week tomorrow. <laughs> and as you can fucking see, it's like raining and shit. But I actually... Uh, canceled my plans like a couple weeks ago because I started thinking like this shit is going to be expensive for only going for like a couple days and I'm all about being you know spending money smartly and that wasn't smart so then I was going to go up to Nashville and visit my friend up there 
And then the whole dog thing happened and uh, financially it was just, I just needed to kind of stay home and kind of get my shit together. Um, my house is a fucking disaster right now because literally for the past week, I didn't want to fucking do shit. I finally did dishes. I like, and that just entails putting in a dishwasher. I just wanted to like fucking try to heal my mind. I worked two days last week and it was fucking hell on earth. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to be off like Thursday through Monday and I'm going to do just kind of like a staycation and uh, get some shit done in my house that I've needed to get done. Um, also, I am working on my eBay stuff. And um, I got to list shit and get it organized and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do. Um, I go through a lot of sadness right now. You know, I think the worst thing uh, one of my clients said to me, and it's so true, death isn't about the person or the thing that passed on. It's about you because you are mourning not having that person or entity in your life anymore. And it hurts. So you don't realize how much something impacts your life until it's gone. And I didn't really realize how much that little creature really fucking was a part of me. So it's just been hard and I just want to kind of fucking chill the fuck out and not really make too many plans and just, you know, enjoy the time I have off. So I don't know if I'll be doing videos and stuff like that in between now and then or whatever. I don't know. You might get something out of me. You might not. Uh, like I said, I'm still just mentally eh. Um, but I gotta tell you this shit right now, motherfuckers. Subs, stop fucking being stupid and approaching in a stupid fucking way. If you really want to fucking serve, you know what to fucking do. If you have a kink and you want it fulfilled, just fucking you know, come with it and don't be a fucking douchebag about it. I'll tell you, I don't understand. Like, no, I, I won't even say it. I've said it so many times. Uh, ladies, um, I am about to go, I have a lot of new followers on my uh, Twitter and I'm about to go through it. And those of you that don't have adult website verification and you've had your Twitter for a while, I'm blocking you because uh, that means one of two things. I don't know what the fuck this motherfucker was doing. You almost just... Ooh, I wonder if the... Ooh, the popo is pulling somebody over. Oh, this person thought they were going to get pulled over. Well, you're lucky, but you almost fucking crashed me. But anyways, um, if you don't have adult website verification and you've had your Twitter for a bit, I'm going to fucking block you. Because one of two things. Either you're just lazy as fuck and you don't give two fucks about showing that you are of age and uh, that means you are able to flaunt around in this community or you're not of age and either or I don't want you to fucking be following me. So if you uh, are interested in getting an adult website verification, you could do AVN Stars, which is my preferred. Um, I have a referral link in the description. If you use that, I will try to mentor you as well as I can. I'll help you out. I'll ask questions. I mean, most of the time if girls uh, ask me stuff, I do go ahead and, uh, you know, communicate with you. It's just the girls that show me some love and use my referral link, I will try even more. Dang. So, yeah. Anywho, um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go through you guys. Uh, for all the new subs that are following me. It's 
stop lurking, approach, serve, do fucking something. I don't give two fucks about followers. It's funny. I will see girls that literally have thousands of followers and they've had their account for like a month. I'm like, you do you, boo. That's great. I don't care. I want quality people following me. You know, and then even if you have adult website verification and I follow you and I see that you're just a fucking train wreck or you don't know what the fuck you're doing or you're just causing drama or whatever, that goes for fucking doms and subs. I will fucking block your ass because I don't want that shit in my life. You know, when you have something happen in your life, that is a very emotional thing. Um, you either take something from it and realize, especially when it's lost, when you lose something that's super important to you, you either like take from it or you, um, or you don't. And the more I go through life and, uh, have these emotional, um, experiences, I learn and, um, I just, the more shit happens, I just don't give two fucks about stupid shit. I just don't. Um, I, the worst thing about losing Pixie was I wish I just had a little more time with her, whether it be a day or two more, where she was really good. I never thought I'd be able to um, be the one to actually make the decision to put her down because I, that dog was just my life. And, uh, but when I looked at her and I saw that she was in such, um, her life, her quality was just shit. I knew and I did it. And, um, I just wish I would have had more time. This, what she had was something that, um, was incurable. The moment we figured out what it was, all testing and everything stopped. I'm a firm believer if you have a pet, and um, they are gonna have a good quality of life and there's a good chance you should spend the fucking money and get try to get them there because they did not ask for you not to fucking do that. They trust you to take care of them. And some people are like, well, fuck, I wouldn't spend thousands of dollars on an animal. Then don't get a fucking animal. And the moment that we figured out what was going on with her, uh, then it was basically just hospice. And I thought at least I would have a couple days with her that I could really absorb that time. And literally from the time I found out what she had to the time she left this earth, it wasn't even 24 hours. So it just really puts shit in retrospect for me to be like, I'm not wasting my fucking time on bullshit drama. I'm just not going to. Or time wasters, or people get off on that shit, or people that want to argue with me. If you don't fucking like me, move on. If you're going to try to troll me, you're wasting your time. You're not going to get the reaction you want. It's just ex extremely freeing when you get to a point like that. I'm not saying I'm dead inside. Yeah, stuff bothers me at times, but it's just not worth getting so fucking crazed about. So for those of you that want to troll me, those of you that want to say shitty shit, okay, if that's what makes you feel better, I would suggest maybe seeking counseling. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I started watching and now every motherfucker is going to start watching this. Um, and it makes so much more fucking sense with why we're having this influx of young girls that are like, I'm going to be a financial dominatrix. Um, but, and I can't figure out if this is a true documentary. Maybe if somebody knows, let me know. I didn't finish it because I was like, okay, whatever. Um, not that, you know, I'm not judging anybody on it. Okay. So I just was like, okay. 
Um, it's called Use Me. I think it's on Netflix. Is it on Netflix or Amazon Prime? Maybe Amazon Prime. But it's called Use Me, and it's about this girl who is in Oregon, and she is a femdom, and she does um, financial domination, and she also does uh, like fetish stuff and stuff like that. She never gets nude or whatever, and she does very well for herself. She's very beautiful, and she's in her 20s, and she also has, has like a psychology degree or something, so she actually does something called like the diamond experience, where she actually will like help cycle cycle psycho analyze huh? Lord. guys like uh there were a couple uh clients on there talking about how they had erectile dysfunction and how she um helped them get through that she has a degree so Okay, I have no problems with that. It's the fucking chicks that all of a sudden are like, I'm going to be your therapist and I'm going to like, you know, help you. <clears throat> if you don't have a motherfucking degree, sit your ass down. I mean, I will, I'll talk to people about shit. Um, but I'm not going to sit there and say that. I'm qualified to fucking psychoanalyze you or anything like that. I mean, I am completely, I've said this many times, completely in, entranced with like the whole psychology of the mind and everything like that. If I could turn back time, I always say I'd be a French forensic psycholog psychiatrist because I am always like, why do we do what we do? What is it about the mind that, you know makes us do certain things so um you know yeah, i've read some books and i've done this and that but i'm not gonna sit there and say i can cure you or i can talk you through this and that no go to a fucking trained professional um i mean sometimes it's just nice to be able to talk to somebody and have a sympathetic ear or whatever so um, yeah, this girl, I was like, okay, she's the, you know, she's the real deal. But then I was like, how many bitches are watching this and are like, because there was like this run of girls that was like, I'm going to be your sex therapist. What? And these bitches, uh, A, you're like 12. Not really, but you know, you're super fucking young, like super young, bitch. You're, you didn't go to college for this shit. You didn't get a degree. You didn't get a doctorate. You didn't get anything. So shut the fuck up and sit down. You're going to start fucking telling people to do certain shit and you're going to make it worse. You know? And this girl, she fucking works her ass off. Like, you can tell she works her ass off. Oh, come on. Why is this not? Like, ah! Excuse me while I... Yeah, she works her fucking ass off. So, um, she, you know, it's her, it's her main income and whatever. And good for her. I mean, yeah. So, uh, if you guys want, like, I, I didn't watch it all, so I don't know how it ends. I didn't even, like, like I said, for the most part, I was trying to be like, is this real or is this just, um you know, a mockumentary, not like where they're mocking the, you know, you know what I mean? Like, oh, we're going to make this and it's going to be kind of like a documentary, but it's not really a documentary. So I, I don't know if anybody knows, let me know. I don't really feel like watching the rest of it. I was just like, you know, but I give her props. I was very impressed by everything she did. Um, maybe even at the end, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll watch it again or watch, finish it. I don't fucking know. But anyways, uh, it made a lot of sense why all of a sudden we're getting, like, every time something like this comes out, and even when I fucking do my videos, people are like, oh my God, now all these new girls are coming into the scene and they don't know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, that's why I'm doing these fucking videos to hopefully help them. But, um, yeah. I guess my whole point of talking about that was if you don't got a fucking degree in psychology or, you know, some bullshit, like not bullshit, but you know what I mean? Don't fucking sit there and act like you can fucking help somebody with their mental issues. Ugh. Shit fucking pisses me off. Ugh. It's like pray the gay away. You know, it's like there's nothing wrong 
And what I mean by that is, you know, oh, well, with prayer, we can always, you know, help this and that. And I'm just like, what? You know, and there's nothing wrong with being gay. God, that was a really bad, that was a really bad example. I just mean, like, people think uh, that they can treat things like a friend of mine's dad is in a very religious kind of like rehab and uh he's an atheist and now all of a sudden he's like you know down for Jesus which whatever but uh she actually thinks that he is bipolar or something and um you know when you have a chemical imbalance most likely you need to be, you know, taken care of by doctors and figure out and get that under control. So that's usually why people sometimes with those type of mental issues turn to drugs and alcohol because they're trying to fucking control their shit. So that's kind of just what I meant. I was telling her, I was like, oh, so they're saying they, you know, they're, they're acting like they can pray away his, uh, pray away his uh, mental illness that's and then I use the references yeah it's like fucking people are like well, well you're gay well we can pray away the gay <sighs> not that that's a mental illness but that's just I know it was in poor taste I apologize anyways I'm at work <sighs> one more day and then I got time off but thank you guys um from the bottom of my heart thank you for all your kind words and um I love that little dog more than anything in this world. And she was a blessing to me. And I'm so, so, so lucky that I had her in my life for the length I did. So um, for those of you that have uh, supported me through this, thank you so much. All right, fuckers. You know what to do. Tribute. <laughs>